Now, with the final planking finished, you can stain the hull with the shades that will bring it to life. Use masking tape to mark the areas to be stained. Run the tape from the bow to the stern and press it so that it adheres firmly to the hull. The masking tape will prevent the stain covering unwanted areas. Now apply the stain with a wide flat brush. Make the brush strokes in the same direction as the grain of wood and spread the colour generously to end up with a uniform stain. When the stain has dried, carefully peel off the tape. The process of applying the various shades of stain to the hull is the same. After applying the colours, position the belts. Emphasise the belts with strips of woods, glued so they cover up the joints between the colours of the hull. Now fit the stem, keel and rudder post to the hull. Apply quick drying glue and first fit the stem. Next, fit the gunnel strakes. Apply quick drying glue and fix them in place, starting with those of the bow. Next, fit those of the waist deck. Finish with those of the stern. Now it's time to varnish your ship. The varnishing will bring out the colours of the wood and protect it from dust. Apply it with wide brush strokes spreading the varnish well. Now construct the rudder blade. 
First, fit the hinges with their nails. Then, fit the hinge pivots with the aid of some clamps. When you have fitted it to the hull, this is how the rudder will look. 